Hey everybody, Kat Siebert here with another Friday Devotion. Uh, this month in October, we've been looking at Orange Curriculum and some of their numbers and statistics as we look at family and the church and how those can partner together to teach kids about Christ. I appreciate uh, some of you have come to me and talked about the devotions and how uh, you've learned or the visual was good for you and looking at the beads and some of the statistics and it's things that maybe we know but uh, really looking at some of those facts really reminds us that uh, the church is to help families and that parents are the primary faith formers in a child's life and we as a church get to look, come alongside them and to help them grow. So today as we kind of continue this I want to talk about find your five is something that uh, has grown on me and I have learned through and I hope will also be a blessing to you. Before I get into Find Your Five, I want to tell you a story. Uh, when I graduated college, I was 22 and I started at my first church and I moved up to the Bay Area from Irvine, California. Now I come from a very large uh, family on both sides, my mom and my dad. And so I have a lot of aunts and uncles, grandparents, and even blessed with some great grandparents as well. And so I was the first to move away. Uh, and I moved to San Jose and I started my first big job at a church and I was so excited, yet I was lonely. And uh, shortly after I got there, I was missing home and I decided that I needed to kind of find my family. I needed to find some people um, that I could connect with and be in relationship with. And so shortly after I started, I found a lady and actually two that I asked to be my grandma, Grandma Alice and Grandma Sue. And I asked these two ladies uh, to be my family. They had attended the church for a while and they loved Jesus and they liked me and I thought it would be good. Well, Grandma Sue uh, became family. She became such an important part of our lives. She was somebody who... Uh, she'd say bailed my kids or took them out of the nursery and snuck them a cookie or went and did activities with them and prayed for them and uh, visit us in the hospital and did all kinds of things to love on my kids. There was never a birthday or Christmas or holiday without a present from Grandma Sue or just a random Tuesday and she would always say these are her great grandkids and she gets to spoil them. Now she spoiled me as well and my husband and she was a lady who had great faith uh, and great love. And she loved us and she loved Jesus and she reminded us of that, uh, not only by the things that she said, but more importantly, the things she did. Even when we moved away from our first church to Texas, she came and visited us. Uh, she continued to send us gifts from afar, but she was somebody who loved my family beyond words. And I will never forget her faithfulness to God uh, and the way that she loved her own family, but adopted us as her family. And so uh, when you find your five, my thought behind that is research shows that kids who have five adults in their life are less likely to lose their faith in college. College is a hard time for kids. They move away and various things happen. And kids, a lot of kids have lost their faith. But those kids who have at least five adults are less likely. What would that look like? Um, to find some grandma Sue's, or maybe you are that grandma Sue. Maybe you are somebody who can um, witness or speak truth to somebody who's younger. Maybe that's to an adult or to a kid or whoever. What would it look like uh, for members of our congregation to to pray for each other, to pray for kids in confirmation, and to kind of sponsor a kid, maybe for those of us who don't have family in the area? I want to just thank uh, God for Grandma Sue and think about all of us who have that opportunity to share God's love with those around us as well. We all can be Christ's light and love to those that we meet. Um, and if you have that, great. Glad that you have five people in your life that you can um, talk to Christ about. But if you don't, find those five and see how that impacts uh, your relationship with Christ as well as your life as people can remind us of God's love and his truth. Let's pray. Jesus, thank you for the ways that you work, um, for your love for us, but also for the people that you bring to us, those people who uh, show us your love, who are faithful and who we can talk to and who help us. Thank you for Grandma Sue and for all people who can share God's love with us. In Jesus' name, amen. Happy Friday. Enjoy your weekend and see you Sunday.